Hey YouTube, Brandon with D4 Guns here. That's that time of the week for, well, the featured gun of the week. Uh, what we have for you today is actually really exciting. Uh, we have a genuine Civil War M1860 Spencer repeating carbine. Uh, the date of manufacture is 1864. So, real deal here. The M1860 Spencer carbine was actually available for the Union Army before the start of the Civil War. Uh, the army, for whatever reason, didn't accept it. Uh, so Christopher Spencer went to the White House, got an audience with Abraham Lincoln, and showed off the rifle's capabilities on the White House lawn. Easy to say that uh, Lincoln was impressed and there was an order put in immediately afterwards. Starting about halfway through the Civil War, the 1860 Spencer carbines and rifles started being issued out to cavalry units and regular troops. So what gave the Spencer such an advantage over the normal musket during the Civil War was its seven rounds of 5656 Spencer metallic cartridges. This was the first rifle to actually use metallic cartridges and be adopted by a, a major military power. So for these, you could actually have a tube magazine that fit through the butt of the rifle. And then you would load it up with seven rounds. and you were ready to go. You could shoot about 20 rounds out of a Spencer before reloading a Springfield uh, musket. Now for the really exciting information regarding this specific carbine. So while we were doing the research for this Spencer, we found that it may have been issued to the 19th New York Volunteer Cavalry. This was also known later as the 1st Regiment of Dragoons. Uh, they were an elite cavalry unit during the Civil War and saw action all the way through Manassas and Cold Harbor, all the way to Appomattox Courthouse. In 1864, they received these carbines. We believe this was one of those carbines that they received, meaning that this would could have been carried for the last six to seven months of the war, uh, going through major battles like uh, the Battle of Five Forks. Theoretically, this carbine could have been in the hands of a cavalryman while Robert E. Lee surrendered to General Grant, ending the Civil War. Also, a little shout out to some friends that helped us with this Spencer. They are known as the Spencer Shooting Society. They helped us look up the serial number and we got some great information from that. Without a doubt, if this Spencer could speak, this thing could tell some amazing stories. Check out this piece of history on our website, and you can also see some close-up photos of the gun at d4guns.com. 